Here are some of the stories we're following at VOANews.com. Saudi Crown Prince says Israelis have a right to their own land. The U.N. Security Council delegation may visit Myanmar and Bangladesh. New York taxi drivers are despairing as ride-sharing apps cut into their business. And the U.S. Justice Department challenges another California law. Find expanded coverage of these stories and more at VOANews.com and on our VOA mobile app. This is International Edition. For the second day in a row on Monday, President Donald Trump railed against illegal immigration in the U.S. at its southern border with Mexico, contending that America is being stolen by migrants. Trump in the past has said he would show great heart for the plight of the young immigrants protected by deportation under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program and said he'd keep the program in place in exchange for full funding of a wall he once built along once built along the U.S.-Mexican border to thwart more illegal migrants from entering the U.S. At the annual White House Easter egg hunt on Monday, the president reiterated the comments he's made before. A lot of people are coming in because they want to take advantage of DACA. And we're going to have to really see. They had a great chance. The Democrats blew it. They had a great, great chance. But we'll have to take a look. But Mexico has got to help us at the border. They flow right through Mexico. They send them into the United States. It can't happen that way anymore. Well, joining us now to talk more about it is immigration attorney Ashkan Amami at the PATH Law Group in Los Angeles. So the president basically said no deal on DACA, but my understanding is that for now a court has ruled the program has to stay in place? It is still in place. You know, the courts will continue to keep it alive. For those people who are currently here and have, have received DACA, they can still renew in two-year increments. For people who have not had not applied for DACA, they obviously anxiety for a lot of people uh, and it's a topic that I think there's broad consensus. We need a resolution. You know, I think on both sides of the aisle nobody wants to see these young people turn away and take them back to countries that they've never really known. And also he's talking a lot about the wall. He wants Mexico to pay for it still. Mexico has obviously through the past year made it clear that they have no intention of paying for it. He said that if they don't pay for the wall he will look, take a closer look at the North American Free Trade Agreement. How significant right. is that? It's it sounds to me like he's been, he's been wanting them to pay for the wall from the beginning, right? I mean, that was one of his campaign promises. And Mexico had a very, very bad reaction to that. They basically told him never to talk about it again in public. And I think that he, that he thought to himself, maybe I think he can take this opportunity to use NAFTA, because the new negotiations are coming up, to use NAFTA as leverage to get Mexico to pay for the wall. I really don't think NAFTA just as much as Mexico needs NAFTA. I think that a lot of red states rely on these trade agreements for their economic prosperity and I, I cannot imagine a scenario where he would be able to pull out of NAFTA without completely alienating uh, whatever of his base is left in, at this point. He also made a comment uh, about these caravans of people coming to are heading for the U.S. border because of their desire to take advantage of DACA. Is that an accurate statement? Uh, well, the caravans are, it's a group of about a thousand people coming from, they're currently in Oaxaca, they're headed to the border. What they want to do at the border is turn themselves in and request asylum, which, you know, is different, different than DACA. They want to, if you show up at a U.S. port of entry and you have a battle claim for asylum, then you are entitled to, to a hearing. Trump is... That's who, that, that's who he's referring to when he talks about these caravans. And I think that he was trying to clamp down on granting asylum as well. This really has nothing to do with DACA. I think he's just adding it in there in hopes that the American people will not understand the, the distinction. He's using it as a 
another way to leverage his border wall agenda. We are also hearing that senior administration officials told reporters that legislation is being prepared to help expedite some deportations of immigrants in the country illegally. So this is still third opaque. Uh, we don't know what exactly the parameters of this are going to be. It seems to me that 